Good morning, this is Mrs Bridge. I hope you are all safe and well. In this lesson, we will be looking at Native American culture and traditions, and we'll be learning how to make a 3D totem pole. Native Americans. So before we get started, I would like you to have a look at some of these new words. These are new words that will be useful for you to know and learn about Native Americans. So you will see on this page and the page following that you have some brand new words that you probably won't have heard of before. So you can pause the video, take time to read these through, and then you'll see that I have integrated into this PowerPoint a word search. So pause your video now and spend time reading about these new words. Here are some more words for you to learn. Again, taking your time to read the definitions through. So here is a word search for you. Again, you can spend the time and you can be reflecting on what these words mean. Can you find these words hidden in the word search? You can pause the video and in a few moments, I'll show you the answers. Wigwam, potlatch, travoy, tomahawk, teepee, totem pole, roach, and wampum. Did you manage to find all of the words? Okay, so in this video, I wanted you to learn more about the Native Americans. So here is a little bit of research to help you understand. Native Americans are the indigenous people of the United States. The people that were here before the European explorers and settlers arrived. Native Americans live in every part of the land. They lived in groups known as tribes. Each tribe had a different language and culture. Some were nomadic, moving from one place to, the, to another. Others were hunters and gatherers, while others were farmers, cultivating much of their own food. When Christopher Columbus arrived in North America, he thought he had sailed the world and reached the country of India. So he called the Native American people Indians, a mistake that has stuck around for hundreds of years. Okay, so here is a research activity for you to have a go at. Watch this video. You can see the video on BBC Bite Size and it will tell you more interesting facts about Christopher Columbus. On a piece of paper, can you write five new facts about Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus discovery. Christopher Columbus persuaded Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain to pay for his voyage from the westward route to the West Indies. He wanted to bring back the valuable silks and spices. He wanted to find a faster route to Asia, but instead discovered a new world that the Europeans had never met before. So in these pictures here, you can see a little map. This was a map uh, that was created in 1492 and you can see Christopher Columbus in his boat and he is hoping to travel from Europe all the way over to Asia. During his voyage, Christopher Columbus spots some land in the distance. This land is what we know as America. When he arrives on land, he meets some Native Americans for the first time. Later, Columbus described them as the best people in the world, and above all, the gentlest. So he made his journey in 1492. Sadly, from the time that Christopher Columbus explored uh, the lands that he found, there were lots of wars that took place and the Native Americans wanted to protect their land and they tried their best to keep and hold on to all of their traditions and their way of life. So you can see here that during the time from uh, Christopher Columbus arriving in America in 1492, you can see that there were 
one, two, three, four, five wars. Dakota War, Great Sewer War, Snake War, Colorado War, and the Texas Indian Wars. In 1830, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act, forcing thousands of Native Americans from their homes and into the west of the Mississippi River. There are currently, that means today, 300 Indian reservations where approximately 30% of US Native Americans now live. Native American culture. Native American tribes had many things in common. They lived off lands by gathering food. They hunted animals too, and used as much of the animals as they could. Meat for food, furs and skins for clothes and shelters, bones for weapons, and the stomach was used to hold water. All Native Americans were spiritual and they had many religious customs. They had many gods. They also had a very special relationship with nature. For most, the sun was the supreme god. Most tribes believed in the power of their dreams. They were considered revelations by their gods. Totem poles. Totem poles were built by about 30 Native American tribes along the North Pacific coast of North America. These wooden towers carved with images of animals and symbols were monuments expressing a family status within a tribe. These people made a good living from fishing in the sea and rivers with salmon, as well as from hunting in a nearby forest. This allowed them time to develop a unique form of art, the totem pole. They were usually built to commemorate, that means to remember, people or events. One was created as part of the potlatch ceremony. So this picture at the side here, this is a picture of a totem pole. And if you look carefully, you can see three creatures. These are typical of the kind of designs that were created on these wooden statues. Symbolism. Totem poles are very meaningful. They often tell a story or legend. Legends are stories that explain why things are the way they are. The creatures or images on the totem pole would connect people to tell the story or legend. So here you can see three rather large statues all carved from wood. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are lots of different creatures and faces carved into the wood. I want you to look carefully at these photographs and I want you to have a go at answering these questions. You don't have to write the answers down. You can just think about the answers as we're looking together. Analyze these images of totem poles. Number one. How are they similar or different? When I'm looking now and I can see the one on the ends there on the left hand side, it has some colour, but the one in the middle looks very, very colourful and I can see they've used lots and lots of black and it really stands out. I can see this other one on the end, that one looks more similar to the one on the left. I can also see that the man in the middle uh, he's holding fish, so maybe this is about being grateful for having the land to live on. Number two, what colours do they use? Well, there's lots of vibrant primary colours there. There's a red, there's a yellow, and there's a green. Lots and lots of primary colours. Number three, which one stands out the most? I rather like the one in the middle there. I think that the black enhances the red primary colours, so that one stands out for me the most. Number four, how tall do you think these poles are? How can you tell? Well, I can see that these totem poles are as big as trees because I can see in the middle picture there that we've got some trees that look very very tall indeed and if I look at the picture on the left I can see that there's cars so these totem pole poles are much bigger than a car and they're almost as tall as trees so they could be lots of meters maybe up to seven or eight meters off of the ground number five do these totem poles tell a story what is the story
I like the way if I look at the picture on the left hand side that we seem to have a human or a, a person holding another person and it looks like they are protecting protecting someone um, so maybe the first totem pole is about protecting their people in their tribe again each one has something slightly different to look at and you can think about what they might mean okay creative design task two how to draw a totem pole so you will need a piece of a4 paper and i su suggest that you turn it um, portrait so that you have the longest edge um, pointing towards you and I, if you have a ruler i want you to draw two lines 25 centimeters um, and then i want you to make those two lines five centimeters apart Okay, step two, think of different animals that you would like to draw, practice them on a separate piece of paper. So you might choose a walrus, you might choose a cat, you might choose an owl, you might choose a fish, you might choose a bear, but you need to choose some different creatures that you are going to draw on your totem pole. Step three, divide your long rectangle into five equal parts, five centimeters by five centimeters, for each box you can see there's five different boxes there. Step five, lightly draw in the other creatures, maybe an owl, a bear, a fish and a walrus into the boxes. You will notice from the images that we've already looked at, an eagle tends to be the most popular creature that is at the top of these totem poles. So I've put in an eagle at the top there. You can have a go at copying that one. Then um, step five, you're going to draw the other creatures in so you can decide which creatures you're going to draw in those other boxes there. Step six, once you're happy, draw around the edge of each creature. Maybe you could use a black um, felt tip maybe to make it stand out. And then you're going to use bright colors to color in your totem pole to make it stand out. Creative task three, make a 3D totem pole. So what you will need to do here is you will need to have some drawings like the ones in this one here um, and you can draw these drawings on a piece of paper and then you are going to stick them onto a toilet roll but in fact it's probably best to, to use the kitchen roll as opposed to a toilet roll obviously don't use it with the tissue on you want an empty one then you're going to stick these creatures onto the totem pole so that will make a 3d totem pole review your learning what is a roach go back to the beginning of the video you'll be able to find the answer there in the definitions what is a potlatch Again, go back to the beginning, look at the glossary, you'll find the answer there. Who wrongly named the Native American Indians? What was that name of the person who traveled on a boat? CC, do you remember his name? Christopher Columbus. What year did the famous explorer reach America? Do you remember? 1492, name the five wars that involved the Native American people. Look back in the video, can you remember them? Can you find them? Which president brought about the 1830 Removal Act forcing Native Americans to move? Mm, can you find his name? President Jackson. What did the Native American people believe in? They believed in lots of different gods, didn't they? And they believed in the sun god. What did the Native Americans use bones for? Do you remember? They used them as weapons, didn't they? Why did the Native American people create totem poles? Well, that was so they could commemorate and remember events or people that had happened in the past. What creature is usually depicted, that means shown, at the top of the totem pole? Do you remember? It has a beak, very large wings. It was an eagle. I hope you've learned some interesting facts about the Native American people and I hope that you get creative at home. We'd love to see your artwork so perhaps you can email us and let us see your wonderful fantastic work. Keep calm, keep creative and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!